Hi there, my name is Devin Smullen from Devon Base, and I'm here at NAM actually for my very first time. Uh, but don't be fooled, I've been building bases since 1993, and uh, right behind me are some of the bases I've built right here. I actually originally got into base building um, as a as a, um, a independent study through college, and I just learned through a local luthier. And really, at that point, the bug just built bit me, and I just kept on building bases from that point out. And uh, started my, my company shortly thereafter, um, focusing on bases because I'm a bass player and uh, I know what I want a bass to look and feel like. And so um, let me pull up one of my bases and just show you some of the features that I've done with my bases here. Um, so one of the most notable features of my bases is the cover system that I have here. Just really makes it easy access to the electronics and battery change out and just is fully shielded but underneath the copper foil is also paint shielding that really holds it. Very clean wiring that I have going on here. Also, it's hard to see on camera but really what you have to do is just hold this and you'll see that the, the edges are very rounded over and super comfortable to play and I in fact round and polish each fret uh, in, as I go through the, uh, the finishing process and just makes for a supreme comfort and playability. And something that's pretty unusual for a jazz bass is that I have a tilt headstock so there's no string trees involved and I countersink the washers which really give this bass just um, help with the downward pressure because it can get the strings nice and low, they go to the tilt headstock and then on top of that I have a zero fret uh, which makes open notes sound like, uh, like fretted notes and real consistency of tone and really transfers the tone all the way down the neck as we're going. Um, so each neck is also a, a three-piece neck so it gives a lot of stability and uh, just will never warp on you. You rarely have to adjust the truss rod on these things and of course on my bases I come with a lot of options including some very beautiful tops. This one features a boxwood burl and then I have some matching knobs that do that and matching pickup covers. Standard features are hip shot hard Wear, as well as these features from uh, the Honey Badger pickups which have supreme clarity uh, in the pickups and of course lots of options as far as coil tapping, an active passive switching, uh, tone out, a tone switch as well as volume, um, balance and uh, a three band EQ. This one features Nordstrand but I also do uh, Aguilar, Bartolini um, and other brands of preamps uh, to match what the, what the owner wants in their instrument. This bass has 22 frets, but also make a 34 inch scale that is 24 frets as well. Uh, been getting great response here at NAM. Like I said, this is my, my first time uh, attending NAM uh, as a business, and I've just been overwhelmed with the, with the response to my instruments that we've had here. So thanks for this opportunity, I really appreciate it.